What's up guys, Gim Zero and welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 for stage number 15 of our Jury Detailer playthrough with DSM. It's sad day, because about three hours ago, Roman Varde said goodbye to the Giro in real life. I did not expect it. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I even had the pink jersey today because I figured Roman could wear it in the upcoming days. He cannot. Fuck. Hopefully he can on PCM today. Rivarolo, Canavese, Cogne, we've got three climbs, Pila les Fleurs, Verogne, and the climb toward Cogne. I don't know if it's in France or Switzerland or Italy, I don't know. Uh, but hopefully Romain can do well, let's go. Despite the rain, it is a plus two for Romain Bardet, weather conditions very different to the ones uh, in real life. Plus two for Tuzvelt, plus three for Combo, I don't care. Plus two for Hamilton, plus zero for Arendsman, or minus zero, as, as you wish. I'd rather to be uh, positive, so we'll say with plus zero. Okay, uh, I tried to do a lot of things yesterday. It didn't pay out, so we'll see what happens today. Tuzvel will be in the breakaway, because I am eager to keep this jersey, which I will lose at the end of this stage. That is most uh, certainly going to happen. But we'll see. Immediately, uh, someone is in the breakaway. We'll take a, a look at that when it will be uh, fully, fully made. In the meantime, let's protect Roman. We have the first incident of the race. It's a crash involving Tom Dumoulin, Peyo Bilbao, uh, who waited for Mikel Landa. I think, was it yesterday's stage or two days ago? I can't remember, but I, I know he did. Oh, it was two days ago. Um, some confidence riders as well. Wilke Kelderman, I think, was down. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Uh, so Kelderman, Buchmann. Uh, and I think uh, that is it. That is indeed it. Some in the car as well, if, if you want to put him in, uh, in this list. But it's kind of forcing the peloton to pace. And interestingly enough, it is Bordiani pacing. Maybe because they didn't send someone in the breakaway, but they haven't done that for 14 days. It didn't, didn't seem to bother. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, the race physiognomy is a bit weird. Um, so everyone came back in the peloton. Cataldo was the one pacing in the breakaway. He's now dropped. Um, Samitia attack, which is usually those attacks they do uh, when you don't relay, which may, may have been true. I may have not relayed. Uh, but um, yeah, I tried to attack again. I bridged. They're not relaying. Hindley did not. Well, is the only one, sorry, pacing in the group behind. Because uh, Fortunato and Puduio didn't seem very eager to do so as well. So I don't really know what's happening. And the gap is only two minutes for the peloton. So in a way, it's good for me because that means that I probably won't see this breakaway go very far. And all the points today may go to like different riders of the peloton. But if I could make the first climb, at least, with this group and be a top four, I'll take it. We started the first climb, the climb of uh, Pila Les Fleurs. I reckon we're in France. We, we have to be. Or in Switzerland. One of those, uh, one, one those French-speaking countries. Um, breakaway is now 40 seconds in the lead because Molema, with Samitier, attacked again. This time I, I was like, I'm not going to chase because I've chased three times already. And I kind of have had enough. So, um, yeah, we, we decided to like take matters. Or, like, just... Let them do their thing. They didn't want to follow, which is fair enough. Uh, we're going to go for a little kick here. We're currently in top four of this breakaway, so I would get points either way. Yeah, Bauke has decided to win today. I think that's, that's uh, what needs to be, uh, to be understood. Uh, I'll try and get some points here. Fortunato is scaring me because he's well placed. Oh, he's just, he just died. He just died. Uh, I'll try and get P4 with Tuzvelt. I think that's the best I can do. Maybe P3 here, if uh, Domenico... What's Domenico doing? Okay, no. Tuzvel gets P3. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's it's still 14 points. Crushing the peloton. Hugh Carthy is down. So is Biniam Germay. Uh, they will both once again go back on their back. I don't think there's any withdrawal. Alessandro Kovi is quite far down. So is Daniel and Kies But yeah, everyone back on the back. No withdrawal today. Uh, despite quite a few crashes. And the further we, well, the, the closer, sorry, we get to the line, the bigger the gap. 537 is the biggest gap we've seen so far in this stage for the breakaway. Um, Bauke Molema, genuinely on his way to get his, uh, his first ever Giro win, and he would complete the Grand Tour hat-trick. Tuzvelt explodes with 1k to go with Domenico Puzzovivo. Uh, once again, it appears it's going to be 28 points today for Martin Tuzvelt. Jai Hindley. Uh, has gotten 60, so he's on 98. Bauke Malama is on 64. Uh, I think I'm still leading, I mean, I am still leading, but the next climb could prove to be quite challenging for Martin Tuzvelt. There's been a crash involving the white jersey. Uh, it is, it is Joao Almeida. 
It is Real Medan. Tio Medan's man is also in that group. Uh, I don't know if it's more of a crash. I think it's maybe that there has been a crash and then riders have been um, delayed. Because I, I know for a fact that Timon did not crash. Uh, Nico Dens can protect Timon once again. When the final climb, by the way, uh, it's a very long one, 22 kilometers. Um, I mean, I'd, I want Bauke to win solo, I guess. I don't know. Do I? Uh, for the mountain jersey, I mean, he's got. No, actually, if, if Carapace wants to win, then, then so be it. Fair enough. Go, go, go do your thinking. Because um, I, I don't really care at this point. As long as it's not Jai Henley that wins, which. Seems unlikely. I'm quite happy. And the breakaway has co up to Martin Tuzvelt and Dominico Podovo. Jai Hindley is only a couple of meters ahead. Bauke Molama, well and truly in the lead. Three minutes with 9k to go. We're getting blocked by everyone and it is remarkable. Uh, but we've got energy, so it's all good for Roman Barlet. Actually, wait, what the fuck is this rhythm? Who's that? Was that Jan Tratnik? Come the fuck down, Jan. I reckon this is not. Uh, steep enough for me to attack so I'll just actually maintain a rhythm not even gonna protect because this is basically flat so I would be losing more energy if, if I was to protect Roman than, uh, than just have him in the train 4k to go uh, we've dropped a rider here that is a leader apparently that's probably Pavel Sivakov or Domenico actually uh, sorry Domenico you're not having the same kind of uh, legs you've got in the real Giro Lego couple section right there let's go 99 for a tad see what we can do could we set up Roman for an attack, maybe? Let's try to go. Let's try to attack with Roman Bardet. In the fog. In the midst. Roman Bardet with Mikel Landa. Sitting on the wheel. And Roman's gonna drop Mikel Landa. It's a win today for Paul Kumolema. But Roman Bardet is gonna make a huge step up for this Maglia Rossa. We're gonna get probably 30 seconds today on Richard Carapaz. It's a good day for Roman Bardet. It's P2 today for the Frenchman. So what does that mean? Uh, sure, Bauke wins. Bravo, Bauke. Uh, he gets his draw win and also uh, gets every mountain point today. Maybe he'll be uh, looking to, uh, to get the uh, Azura jersey in the coming days. Hopefully he doesn't. Romando takes 20 seconds, 22 seconds on Carapace with bonus seconds. I shall be on 28 seconds. So it's not too bad. And we've dropped the rest of the riders. Miguel Angel Lopez as well getting dropped. Uh, yeah, no, strong, strong day today. Very strong day. And very fun stage again. This has been a, a very common theme for this Giro. Very fun stage just to play. GC wise, it means we're now 1 minute and 12 seconds behind El Jaguar de Tulcan, Richard Carapaz. And we've got a nice buffer of 46 seconds on um, Miguel Angel, Lopez, Almeida, and Wilke Kelman completing the top 5. Regarding the uh, Chiclamino jersey, we are strengthening our lead with Roman Barley over Richard Carapaz, which is still not a sentence I thought I would say. Mountain-wise, uh, despite losing points today, Martin Tuzvelt did manage to retain his jersey. The gap is now only of 19 seconds ahead of Jai Hindley and 39 ahead of uh, Baukumal, 49 actually, as a matter of fact, I can't count. Wait, can I? I don't know. No, 39. Yeah, 39 points, sorry. Uh, so that will be important in the coming days. Best water is still Schwalmeda, and the best team is still Bahrain. Victorious as we head for a rest day tomorrow, so no Giro video, but I'll see you on Tuesday for stage number 16, another mountain stage between Salo and Aprica, the stage of the wines, uh, with a tricky climb towards the end and a downhill finish. Those could be benefited in PCM. Sometimes I joke, sometimes I don't. We'll see what happens, but if you want to see that stage, and do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you very, very near, or very, very soon, actually. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on, go.